Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. So we're going to be installing a window regulator on the E34 due to the, the one that's on there currently is not working. So the window does not go up or down. It's just stuck on there. And we're going to go ahead and install the regulator on the E34. I also want to ask if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We have a lot of builds on this channel. I think it's about eight or nine. So there's going to be a lot of content. Uh, a lot. Of, there's a lot of content, basically. <laughs> I am trying to make time so, so that I can do more videos for you all. And, you know, just keep the channel going. Keep it interesting. Keep it different and fresh content different on different vehicles as well, not just one single car. But like I said, if you all are new to the channel, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell button, that way you don't miss an upload. And without with that being said, let's get right on to the video. So I know you guys are wondering why I'm in a parking lot. <laughs> and well, the reason why I'm in a parking lot is eventually I'm gonna have to go make a quick stop so that we could get this install going on the E34. Now, if you are not aware and, and you haven't really followed the channel, uh, there is a E34 on the channel, an E90, uh, E30, uh, yeah, yeah, E34 and an E90. Stay tuned because there might be something else on the channel as well. Uh, there is a 2016 Mustang, the 21 F-150, which I'm in right now. Uh, and it's a, it's a great truck, by the way. Uh, 06 Dodge Charger. So I'll have updates on all of those builds as well for you all. But for now, we're just gonna be we're gonna go driving and we're gonna try to go to Home Depot. That's what I want to do, and that way we can get over there and get what we need to start the install on the E34. All right, guys. So here we have the door. Uh, what is it, what's it called, the regulator with the motor. And we also have the bolts. These are six M6 by 10 and uh, millimeter, of course, a metric. And this is what we're gonna use due to the door having rivets. And once we drill them out, we won't be able to reuse the rivets, of course. So, Let's get right to it. All right, so here is the door in question. And yes, I do have all this removed just because it would have been easier for me. And I really wasn't planning on doing it, but then at the last minute, I did decide to go ahead and do it. And let's see if this car is even going to turn on. So it's getting a little ugly out there. Nope, it is dead, just like I thought. So what we're gonna do is, I'm not going to show you guys how to remove the door exactly. I'll make a video on that later on, but um, what we're going to do is remove this right here. And once we do that, it's going to show us uh, the inside, which is, let me just do this real quick. There's a regulator. Here's the little motor. So these are these are the rivets I'm talking about. I'm going to have to drill these out right here. It's three, four, five, and we're going to replace them with these. These Dorman M6 by 10 millimeter hex bolts. Now, of course, I bought the matching. So this is what we're going to be using to put this back on here. And of course, what what so the issue with this is the window is not going up or down and therefore um having to change this out i wish i didn't but you know it just it's a matter of having to do it now it is kind of difficult especially when it comes to this part up here you can break the door card so and, and it sucks once you do that it's you know nothing comes back but another thing real quick i do want to mention is these will break these will come off that door card and they're just glued, so you just glue them back. I'm gonna go ahead and get to removing this thing. So what I'm going to do is remove this right here. All right, so we're gonna start drilling this out. So finally, here we have the rivet 
<laughs> this took a long time, guys. So it's it's gonna suck. Um, there you go. Popped it off. Broke a rivet. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, this one as well, and all these. I'm not gonna really like record all the part because it's gonna be boring. But I'll just kind of record towards the end when I'm already getting done. Uh, this one took me about maybe I don't know five minutes and that's due to just having a you know a cheapy little cordless drill and it probably doesn't have a, uh, that much battery as well that's another thing too that i'm not sure how much battery this has left but uh, uh nonetheless it has one two three four five i have four to go so let me get going with that rivets out it sucks i don't even know why bmw would do that um and now we just need to get this bolt and that bolt so let's go ahead and do that here's a part and the good thing is it does come with <clears throat> it does come with these clips All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and just pull this, that right there. We're just pointing to this thing right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down, and I'm gonna see if I can get some video. All right, so here we are. We have it uh, half kind of down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that little clip off this one right here remove it and put it back on and then we're gonna put the new motor on there so I took this clip off and then what I did was pull this back and now we're gonna do the same thing for that other side we're gonna pull that clip off and then pull this out so for this part to take that clip out I'm going to use these kind of pliers you get them at Harbor Freight for about maybe I don't know five bucks I think now after that, you're gonna have that connected there, but this is the connection that you're supposed to take out. This one right here. I want you all to notice a big difference here is, this is the original BMW regulator with the motor, and this is the new one uh, with the motor from Dorman, and this one has a smaller little motor compared to the original one, so. You see, I'm gonna take a picture. So you do get all those applied hardware. Here's the little sliders, and here are the new clips. So here is the seat. There you go, sliders, clips. Just make sure you put some grease in there once you get these out. Those are bad. That's probably why the window didn't want to go up. Like old. And here are the new sliders. These are the new ones, and <laughs> this is the old one. And then just a good tip is clean your little inside in here. Clean it off from the old. See though, this is really old. That way you can get all this old uh, grease out of there and it won't be causing future problems as well. And then just make sure you grease up this in here, which I'm gonna do, but uh, before I'm, I'll do it before I put the card, the door card back on here. So now we just put this, yeah, there's those you see those pins into those little slots and we should be good to go also don't forget to put this little thing here put it back on there and then the clip that comes with it and last but not least put your clips and that's how they go that way you can, that's how the way they go 
right here like up to there and then this that way this stays free to take it on in case you need the services again put your other cups here and there you go you have a working window now and make sure you get your bolts in nuts as well nice and tight okay one so the first thing i'm going to do is instead of putting the door card back on the on the car i will be gluing all these pieces back onto the door card and then we'll go ahead and um put them back on so i'm gonna remove all that put them back on here and also this one it's going to go like this that goes like that that's that's the one that's on the handle so um but yeah i'm this this goes you know just like this but of course they have to be glued on there and it's pretty much it pretty much it so what i'm going to do is super glue it leave it overnight taped and all that good stuff and we're gonna come back to it all the way i put this it's very hard honestly to, uh, to me it's hard it's it's a difficult install um not for everyone so those little black tips i showed you guys they come off and you see how this store cart's not even on right um it's gonna need some glue behind those uh, black little plastic pieces here you have an allen screw you kind of see it in there and i'm just gonna go ahead and finish it off so this is a, a not an allen but a uh a t20 you have to use a t20 when it comes to that little guy in there and then this door in here has a metal clip so you need to make sure that clips as well and just to make sure that it actually you know stays on there um and the last but not least this door card has this little uh like cardboard looking thing if you guys mess this up it's more than likely it's it's gonna be it, you're gonna mess it up <laughs> so if you mess it up you're done um the car the door card will no longer uh come out the same way as that other side so yeah uh mistakes were made <laughs> But you live and learn and hopefully I, if i do need another side you know i'll be more careful with that uh, but for sure i'm going to point out some mistakes that i made first things first is this right here you don't just pull it or or yank it you know you need to kind of like wiggle it around and then and then the door card will come out if not you end up with these pieces right here which i'm going to save because you know who knows maybe I'll, I'll decide to take this off later on again and you know fix it but also you know just make sure you install your the vapor guard or whatever that you want to call it humid humid uh, the vapor guard or whatever you want to call it the little felt piece make sure you put it on before you go ahead and put the door card just to keep any humidity away from the as much as possible from the electronics and another thing i want to mention is i would say you see how i have this issue right here i would say to just kind of wait and make sure these things are glued back on before you decide to put the door card on i'm just kind of doing it on the flat on, on the hurry as well and you know it doesn't come out good so uh, once this is on here though you can go ahead and shove this back in here that's just goes like really in there like really in there so this is this comes out with the screwdriver flat head you can get a flat head or a pick and then just kind of push it out and that just goes in, out like that uh one there's a screw as well and that's pretty much it um honestly that's what a lot of some videos don't mention that that little t20 screws in there so you do need to take that out before pulling this 
and then also that metal clip that's here is what will eventually hold the door card in a way once you get this off the metal clip then you can go ahead and work on this up here i know they have taken this off before but you know i i don't know i don't i didn't want to try and then you know i break it and the thing too is that some of the car some of the parts for these cars are hard to come by so it's not very very common especially door cards it's very difficult to come by them uh a lot of the times they just sell like this leather stuff but they don't sell you the actual uh cardboard card door card so you know just be careful when you're doing it to like take it off or, or put it back on be patient patience is key guys <laughs> okay so basically uh it's not gonna turn on but um just want to go ahead and show you so i just want to go ahead and show you you know the window the window does work there you go all right so once you're gonna put this make sure you get this in here right and uh if you can see here i'm just kind of kind of put it in the slot and you're good to go there you go just like that now all that is left is to put this the little speaker back onto the car and this is pretty simple all you have to do is just connect these connections to here and then push that in there Okay guys, now all that you're gonna do is just put the little screw on there and once you put your screw, make sure you have this little little guy and he's going to go just like that. So I wanna take this off, I wanna get the screw right now and <clears throat> put everything back. But that's, you're installing back the, the speaker and your door card should be good to go.